Thank you so much for showing interest in this uh, training program. And um, I am going to be talking about, uh, I'm going to tell you something more about ideas and projects and um, how you can pass through the stages of receiving them, accepting, believing them, and believing them, accepting them, and also working on them. So I'm going to be sharing my practical experience. And um, I have been able to let you understand um, what the um, to understand the heart of God about what He likes to do with ideas, how He loves to give us divine ideas or revelations that will take our lives to the next level. Now, uh, let me start out by telling you something about that ideas and projects. Let me inform you they are almost the same thing, but um, projects always come first to you as ideas. They always come first to you as ideas. So let, let, let me state that that way. And um, also, let me also state that projects um, start out as ideas and ideas grow into projects. Ideas grow into projects. I always advise people that whenever they receive ideas from God, divine idea from God, see a revelation from God, they should immediately see those ideas as big projects. It's very important you see them as big projects. And whatsoever your eyes can see, God said is going to give to you. Now, when you see those ideas as big projects, that will be one of the factors that can always push you to work more on them. You have seen the uh, this little idea, the little seeds that God has given to you. You have seen the trees and the branches and the fruits coming from them already. And most times you must have um, flesh them out on paper, write them out on paper, write out the stages of execution of turning those ideas into big projects so it's very important so ideas and projects are the same thing but uh, that's the difference is what i've given from the definitions i gave i said projects uh, the, let me call projects are the big brothers of ideas ideas grow into a project and projects start out with the tiny ideas that god has given to you yes usually ideas come as tiny seeds tiny seed tiny seed, just like the mustard seed uh, tiny seed very tiny seeds and um, if you despise them at that stage you have been able to do so much wrong to your destiny and then um, it's important you understand so every idea if well nurtured grows into a project if you nurture an idea god that god has given to you to grow into a project just, just like a farmer who plants a seed the farmer must understand he has to do a lot of other things to nurture the seeds so that they can be able to grow effectively into the trees and to produce fruit that he needs to sell in the market. So the same thing with ideas. So if, 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 if when a, a project becomes, uh, now let me inform you, and this is what I discovered by revelation from the Holy Spirit of God. I when an idea is given to you you need to also go back to the spirit of god ask him to show you implementation ideas i call them implementation ideas when a, a seed idea is given to you you need also implementation ideas revelations methods or strategies that you can use to work on those seed ideas to turn them into a project so you receive the seed ideas you get implementation ideas and then um, those seed ideas can become project ideas and let me also inform you those implementation ideas can also come from the researches you carry out right you carry out others have been involved in similar ideas and projects what are they doing what are they doing it's very important you read books it's very important you follow those who are operating almost similar uh, ministry calling or business like yours is in fact is very important you learn to research to carry out research read books read online articles read articles from websites so that you can be able to discover so implementation ideas are, are also very very important jesus uh, salvation project was an idea a divine idea from god jesus came and was always um, using implementation ideas to move towards the salvation project to complete the salvation project so it's just the same thing
it's just the same thing it's just like my book idea i received the seed idea i kept it for two and a half years but when it was time when i took a decision to work on them i got i began to attend seminars and program read books and um, i learned how to publish the book and also to market and to sell them and also to write more books so so projects uh, when when you begin to use implementation ideas that's when projects the big project becomes uh, a fusion of so many ideas together so it's important you should understand and i always tell people if god is the one who has supplied a divine idea to you you don't leave god alone you continue to stay with god continue to study his word continue to ask the holy spirit to help you is that okay some people receive revelation and they, they are out of god the out of God is the one who gave it to you is still ever ready to help you to implement them so it's still ever ready to make help you to implement them so I said you should make your ideas project on paper now it's very important you should understand this you I'm already talking about how you will be able to uh, be able to execute your the work on your ideas now let me first of all inform you that if you want to continually be a beneficiary of ideas from heaven, revelations from heaven, you must, uh, if you are not born again and you are watching this, you need, you must be born again. You must be a child of God. God is ever ready to share secrets, mysteries with his children, share revelations that will take them to the next level with them. It's very important you should understand this. If you are not saved, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ so that you can become baptized in the Holy Ghost and then receive his spirit into you. And the spirit begins to help you along the way. Jesus said the spirit of God will come and show us uh, truth that he has not shared with us. So that's what the Holy Spirit does. When I received my book, it was the Holy Spirit that inspired me. I've been praying and then I wanted to take my life to the next level. I was tired of situations then. The spirit of God came with that idea. I was taking a walk and then I received it. And then that's been a fantastic experience fantastic experience so you need to be born again and you need to be close to his word study his word diligently and be a friend of the holy spirit have an improved relation with the holy spirit and you can always do that again getting into the prayer platform always talking to god in the place of prayer studying his word it's very important you should understand that it's very important you should understand that. so if you are not giving your life to jesus christ go down your knees and ask god to forgive your sins and then um, ask Jesus to become your Lord and Savior. God is ever ready to save you. I believe you have said that prayer, you need to write back to me. I'll send more materials to you that can help you along the way. Along the way, you can also find a Bible believing church near you and begin to worship there, worship God there. It's very important. In those places you must they must be places where the word of God is being taught in truth. Being taught in truth. It's very important. You should understand that. So now let me tell you what you whenever you receive an idea the first thing you should do is to believe it because abraham believed it was counted for him as righteousness it's very important you see a revelation from god is your creator he shares an idea a revelation with you you should believe it you should believe it you should believe it usually when you have been involved in the prayer session over a particular issue god usually comes up with an idea and I always tell people, people who are titans in the church, if you pay your tithe regularly, if you use your money for the expansion of the kingdom, the money that God has given to you for the expansion of the kingdom of God, God usually rewards you with a divine idea. It can be a business idea. It can be a revelation that will take your life to the next level. So the first thing, you should believe it. Believe it. You need to believe. It's very important. After believing it, you need to accept it. You need to accept it. One of the ways accepting and embrace one of the ways to accept it is to write it down. You should have an idea book, a revelation book. Write it down, write it down. The Bible says, Write the vision, make it play. Write the vision, make it play so that we will easy can run after it. It's very important you learn to write them down, document them, even if you are not working on them immediately. Write it down, it's very important. I've written a lot of revelations and ideas down that I've not even worked upon. So write them down. When you receive it, believe it, accept, embrace it by writing it down. Now, after doing that, you need to now start praying to God. 
start praying to God. God, you showed me this. Give me implementation ideas. How do I go about it? And the Holy Spirit will always share more inspirations with you that can help you to work on them, to work on them and profit from them. Because He gave it, He wants you to work on them. So begin to pray over what you have written down. Begin to pray over what you have written down. Then the next thing I always do is to flesh them on paper. What I call flesh is for you to write down, begin to write down the stages that you are going to pass through to be able to execute those ideas. Remember, you have to turn your ideas into projects on paper. So write those stages down from the little step to the most advanced steps. For example, when I received my book idea, I wrote them down. I wrote it. I wrote the idea down. Then I fleshed it on paper. How did I flesh it? I began to write the content under the chapters. I wrote the content under the chapters. Now, I kept it. Now, when it was time to work on them, I began to write out the stages that I'm going to follow to execute the idea. It's very important you should know that. Now, what you need to do again is for you to begin to carry out researches it is likely some people have worked on this let me know them let me look at what they did you can even pay a visit to their business place their office their location you need to find a book to read that will help you in the process of fleshing out your ideas now after you must have done that you know you should continue to pray over them it's very important continue to pray over them pray over every stage of the idea that or every stage of what you have written down. Continue to pray over them. Now, when it is time, begin to take step. Take step on the first step. Is that okay? Take them on the first step. Now, what, what usually comes to the mind of people at this stage is that they don't have the capital. They don't have the money to start out. Now, let me tell you, you can always start out with the most little step let me use it that way. say it that way the most little step and remember jesus started out in a manger he was born in a manger and then also when it was time for him to start his ministry he borrowed peter's boat he started don't despise the days of small beginning start out now if you don't start out the lord is not committed to help you the lord is not committed to help you so it's very important you start out with the most little step i learned that even when Jesus wanted to feed 5, 000, over 5,000 people in the deserted place, Jesus started, started out with what they had. He said, what did you have? And they gave him five loaves of bread and two pieces of fish. And then he started out with that. He gave thanks to God. And it multiplied. So multiplication miracle can't come up. You can't go to the next step if you don't start out. You don't start out. And then I started out working published, I wrote the book, I published it, I printed it, I published it in my country, I moved to the next stage, I put up an advert, I began to visit schools, and then everything began to work out for me. Then I began to receive more ideas, more book ideas. So it's kick-started my book ministry. Kick-started my book ministry. So it's important you follow these stages. And when you begin to move from stages to stages and you begin to see results, you begin to, you should begin to document them. Write down those results so that you can continue to thank God and encourage yourself. It's important you follow these steps to move from the idea stage, the seed idea stage to the project stage. And when the result begins to come and you begin to receive more ideas, begin to follow the, can follow the same process, can follow the same process and continue to give glory unto God. I believe you have enjoyed this and I hope you are going to write to me and then also you are going to follow the steps that I have highlighted in this training program. Thank you very much and God bless you.